Hello, and welcome back to the Four Horsemen. My name is Paul, representing Diecast Graveyard. Myself, along with Keith from Outlaw Speed Shop and Xavier from Diecast Show Customs, and this month's guest horseman, Andrew from Maple Leaf Customs, make up the Four Horsemen. Now, this month's theme is a dairy delivery truck from Hot Wheels, and the theme is military. Now, you can build any kind of military vehicle you want. You can do a strict military vehicle. You can do something out of fantasy. You can do old. You can do new. It doesn't matter as long as it's a military theme or some type of representation that uh, screams military. So let's go ahead and have a great build. I know there's going to be a lot of great submissions this month. So let's go ahead and continue with today's horseman build. Now, for whatever reason, I lost the footage to take the vehicle apart. So we're going to start by stripping the paint off the dairy delivery vehicle. Here I dip it in citrus strip, and then I'm going to let it set for approximately a couple hours. Now this stuff works in about 20 minutes, but the longer you let it set, the more thorough it's going to be. Now, I wish we had the old strippers that we had before they changed the chemical makeup of these things, but uh, Citrus Strip does pretty good for what you have, and uh, it's very reasonably priced also. Let's go ahead and continue. All right, here we have the body all stripped off and cleaned. I'm going to spray the car with Tamiya Surface Primer. Now, they make gray and they make white, etc. When it comes to doing something fast, I don't mind using this out of a can, but that's one of the very few things that I'll use out of a can since I orient myself more towards using an airbrush. Okay, we've sprayed it with the gray primer. We're going to let it sit for an hour or two to harden up a little bit. Now I'm going to mix up my own blend of olive drab paint. Here I've used a diff bunch of different colors from Createx. I've got this detail moss green. I've got this raw sienna I got a bunch of weird colors here red oxide and maybe a little bit of detail yellow I went ahead and used a little bit of each and that's what I made with uh, mixing up these colors sometimes you have to experiment with your colors to get the exact thing you want we're gonna go ahead and use this Grex tritium airbrush and this has a 0.5 needle in it and we're going to paint the entire casting with this olive drab paint. Let's go ahead and spray it, and I'll get back to you right after that. Okay, we've painted it olive drab. Now you can use your airbrush to help dry it up, but this still needs to set for an hour or two because you don't want the paint to peel off when it's still kind of damp. I'm going to paint the roof of this thing white, and I'll explain that here a little bit later. We've got it all taped off, and we're going to spray the top of the vehicle white. Now, the particular vehicle I'm going to be painting, the tops of the roofs of these cars were painted white. Now, I'm going to do a little bit of fantasy in this, too. Here, I've painted the roof white. That looks good. Let's go ahead and let that set for a while and dry. I'm going to let it sit for about four or five hours just to make sure that it's hardened enough and doesn't interfere with me taping it off or anything. Now here I'm going to apply the decals. This vehicle here I'm going to make an explosive ordnance disposal response van. Now this is the job that I did in the military and I also still do this job as a civilian contractor. I've got approximately over 40 years of experience working in bomb disposal, and this is my full-time job. So I says, you know, I'm going to go ahead and make this vehicle up. But then, like I said, I want to do a fantasy vehicle here. So I wanted to do something serious but fun. All right? So let's... uh set up the next area here and this is what I mean by fun here I've got a star I want to put on the side of the vehicle 
but it's also got some some really cool graphic flames on it. And I, I, I just thought that this was going to be pretty cool. Hey, you know what? It's my vehicle. Get it positioned the way you want to and use your Q-tip to go ahead and smooth everything out here. It'll take a little bit of adjusting, but you'll finally work it out. I'll mess around with this a little bit more. Let me go ahead and speed this up and then you can see how I apply the rest of the decals. There, that's looking pretty cool. I like how that turned out. EOD, Explosive Ordnance Disposal. Let's do a little bit of detailing. Here I'm going to detail the headlights and the turn signals, and then I'm also going to paint in the grill with some black. Just using these little cotton tips works out pretty good. Now I did have to go back in and trim it just a little bit because I kind of bled over the edges and I hate when that happens. Let's go ahead and move on. Alright, here we have all the pieces. We've got the van with the decals. Once it dried, I sprayed it down with a matte clear to go ahead and seal. I painted in the headlights, the turn signals, and the grill. Here's the base I wanted to use. Like I said, it's a fantasy vehicle. Painted the interior gray. I could have detailed it up a little bit more if I wanted. And here's the windshield. Let's put it all together and have our reveal. And this is what we started with. A dairy delivery. Now I sent these vehicles to my fellow horsemen and by chance I happened to send one to Andrew also without even realizing that he was going to be the guest horseman this month so that worked out pretty good we took the vehicle apart there's only one screw in the front and it's clipped on in the back with the little tail lights we stripped it down we painted it up using the createx paints that are that are available from spray gunner we made some decals which I made them myself out of a white toner we put them all on and I kind of polished and fancied it up with the mag wheels and the flames on the side, but it's just what I wanted to do and I thought it was pretty cool. Now check out the other uh, Four Horsemen build, there'll be a, a link in the comments for the other guys, and check out everybody else's build that participated this month. I know there's going to be some great stuff. And here's what we got to. Now notice how on this truck there are red fenders. While I was in the military, the white roof on the top and the red fenders on the side signified that this was an explosive ordnance disposal vehicle easily recognizable on post or responding to an explosive incident. Now again, I added a little bit of fantasy stuff here and there as I thought that, you know, I thought it would be cool to look like this. Now there's a lot of folks that have submitted builds this past month and I've had an opportunity to see some of them already and they're pretty awesome. So make sure you check out the other people that are participating in the Four Horsemen build. This was uh, an extreme amount of fun and I look forward to next month's build. 
Speaking of next month's build, for the month of February, the theme is NASCAR. Now, this was the casting that was chosen by one of the other four horsemen, and it's really hard to get. So we're going to allow you to use any 164th casting and any, any brand or whatever. And as long as you do a NASCAR theme, now it can be old theme, new theme, etc., it doesn't matter. Now, next month's guest horseman is George Hodges from Hodges Hot Wheels and Diecast. George is a member of the Three Blind Mice, and he is an excellent builder, and I'm really looking forward to seeing what George can come up with for next month's build. So please go ahead and participate in this one here. Send your glamour shot to fourhorsemandiecast at gmail.com and check out the YouTube page, Four Horsemen Diecast on YouTube. And make sure you subscribe because that's where the recap video is going to be posted. My name is Paul representing Diecast Graveyard for the Four Horsemen. Thank you so much and cheers.